What's going on guys, Fit Leaving Back. This is going to be part three of my toy hauler conversion. Uh, if you ain't watched part one, part two, I recommend y'all to go watch it. I'm trying to record once I get a little bit of progress done in between each video and show y'all how it's done. So this is a uh, 7 by 12 with an extra 12 inch height. As you can tell, it's, these are 4 foot ply, pieces of plywood. So it's over 8 foot tall. So we'll start uh, the highest and work our way down. So I had Romex running in between the lights and the receptacle there and receptacle here. I went ahead and got some half inch conduit and basically bent it. Tried to do everything one piece except for right here. I ran out of conduit and I had this little piece laying over, so it saved me from buying a whole 10 foot. Even though I'm against using couplings. But as you can see, it turned out really nice. Just the main power coming into the light here, ran it down, kicked it off, and I actually got the Romex feeding up through this pipe gun to this light. Same thing back here. Looks a lot better than that Romex. I couldn't figure out a way to strap the Romex down and make it straight and nice, so I kind of knew what it is. That was uh, quite a hard back-to-back -back 90, but it worked out really good and very nicely around the, uh, the fan and sunlight, whatever you call that there. So besides that, went ahead. Most of the top stuff is done. I got finally got my radio glued down so that ain't gonna move i got six by nine speakers for the audio same thing here that's a little piece of conduit coming in that's the main power for the receptacles 20 amp uh, i got my doors up uh, i got handles on them got magnetics so it stays shut they actually stay shut pretty well same thing for this one here Oops, if you slam it too hard, it won't latch. Yeah, the top part's pretty much done. Uh, I got a microwave mounted. This is my microwave. What I did for this is basically took off the outer shell, got some big washers and stuff, and screwed the outer shell up to this, and then basically set the microwave back in and reinforced it with some little zip screws around it. But it's up there really well. Uh, I got two more switches I added. This switch here controls my 8 inch can light LED that's in here and that gives this place a lot of light whenever you're working here or you're going to be cooking because eventually I've got a sink going in right here. Uh, I went ahead and built my tool shelves. They're not the, uh, not the best shelves but they work, they're for tools, and basically slide out. You got all your tools, everything you need. Got a lot of organization to do, but still enough progress of being built. Got my hinges up, all I need now is uh, another piece of plywood. It's gonna go right here. I'm gonna have my five gallon or 10 gallon water tank. My sink's gonna be there. I'm gonna have an outside recessed shower back in there. It'll go to outside so you can shower off outside. And this is the new pump I got for it. It is supposed to be 1.5 gallon per minute, 100 PSI apparently. I don't know if that's gonna really be true or not, but uh, this is the outdoor shower kit I got. Just got it in today, so I ain't have really time to do anything with it. Uh, under here is my electrical panel. It's also got a magnet on it. But as you can see, it's uh, it's pretty roughed in right now. This wire you see, the wire nuts, is the far back switch there. And that switch is going to control my water pump and water heater, instant water, heat, water heater if I decide to put one in. But for now, that's just going to be a switched receptacle, maybe down below it once I get that in. So, went ahead and picked up a little mini fridge. This is gonna be the fridge for keeping food, mostly uh, cold beer. It's a little 2.7 cubic foot. You already know we got that ice cold beer in here. 
works really well. I uh, designed this for a bigger fridge, but the fridge I wanted was sold out. So as you see, I got a gap. That's what this uh, this two by six here is for. I'm gonna build up the base, and this part will be up here, a little bit higher off the floor, maybe a little storage cabinet underneath. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, that's uh, mainly what I've got done so far. I've uh, tried to point out everything I can think of. I don't know what I included in part two or not because it's been a long time. Finally got the uh, entire floor epoxied. I added a, a, a mixed sand in with it so it's really grippy. I don't know if y'all can see that or not if it shows up. But it's sand, it's dirty, but it's actually really nice. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a commercial carpet in here or not yet, but we'll find out eventually. Went ahead and finished uh, this off. This little area here is painted. Got a little keychain holder. Uh, got an outside light, so you hit that. We've got that light there outside. And uh, that's really bright. It's supposed to be like 700, 800 lumens. Don't draw very much. Just a little LED 12 volt. I got a converter in the wall. Yeah, guys, that's uh, pretty much all I can think of. Uh, still got a lot of work to do. Got to finish getting that fridge roughed in. Got to get a door right there. I got that little heater on right now. It's a little cold out. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I know to tell y'all. If y'all got any questions, comment below and I'll reply back to you. Still got to yet paint all this. This has all been insulated and glued up. Anyways, guys, enjoy the video. Give me a like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.